greetings. My name is Jerry, and I'm a second year seminarian at St. Mary's College in Oscott. If you're wondering what a seminarian is, then it is somebody who is training to be a priest. I felt called to the priesthood from a very young age, but over the years, I was always too scared, worried, and anxious to follow that vocational calling. But in my adulthood, the feelings never left me, and in fact, they got stronger and stronger, until eventually I thought to myself, if God is calling me to the priesthood, then I owe it to God to do something about it. That's when I got in touch with the vocations office, and they've helped me to discern my vocation, and I still feel that this is the path that God is calling me to. I'd like to share with you the Gospel for Easter Sunday. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Sabbath was over, Mary of Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices with which to go and anoint the body of Jesus. And very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb, just as the sun was rising. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? But when they looked, they could see that the stone, which was very big, had already been rolled back. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man in a white robe, seated on the right-hand side and they were struck with amazement. But he said to them, there is no need for alarm. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See, here is the place where they laid him. But you must go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. It is there you will see him, just as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. When I reflected upon this Gospel reading, the theme of trust came to my mind. Firstly, I noticed that Mary, the mother of Jesus, was not present with the women. You would have thought, as Jesus' mother, she would have been there to anoint the body. But she trusted in God, and she trusted that when Jesus had said he would raise from the dead, he did. So therefore, Our Lady, Mary the mother of Jesus, did not feel the need to go to the tomb that morning. The other women in the story, they also trusted in God, but in a different way. Mark tells us that the women on the way to the tomb were concerned about who would move the stone away for it was very large. But notice how this did not stop them from going to the tomb, because they trusted that if they did what God wanted, God would help them. And what a great reward they were given, for they were the very first people to be told that Jesus is risen by the angels. In our life, each of us have been given a vocational calling by God, and it might not be a vocation to the priesthood, but each of us will face challenges in that vocation. But if we, like Mary, the mother of Jesus, and if we, like the women in the story today, place our trust in God, then we will be rewarded in a way that only God possibly can. Thank you.